what's the first shape that we need? An upside down raindrop, that's right. We were fortunate enough to get Ben Clanton to come visit us. And for those who don't know, he is a author and illustrator of some of the most popular books that I have in my library, the Narwhal and Jelly. And he's got some other series also that are also great. Turtle. Turtle. <laughs> Which, of course, we know that turtles are ninjas. Well, it's only in the movie that they're ninjas. To me, there's always this disconnect as a kid, like that there's actually someone behind making those books, and the idea of like I could actually be telling stories that that just never quite fully clicked. And it's amazing when that that kind of opens up for a kid, and I, you know that can work for their own interest in writing, their own interest in drawing and creating in that way or just, you know, reading themselves and what sort of books they might end up taking a look at. Just, just the result of, of a visit like this. He was the recipient of the Books to Treasure this year. They always pick an illustrator. Henry Zaro's foundation started this program where it's a push to get kids to get their library card. They give every second grader in the county a free copy of a book plus a new library card that is special that year. I love getting swept up in Narwhal's sort of adventures, so I think Narwhal might be my very favorite of the characters. Every year they select one public school, one private school, and this year Rosa Parks was selected. He came free of charge and presented to our second graders and they were loving it. I make a character today with you for our own best book ever. We need the best character ever. I struggled myself as a kid learning to read. And we're going to combine it with a dragon. Funny dragon and a <coughs> eagle. So I'm excited to be able to be here celebrating reading and hopefully getting the kids excited to, you know, go through that struggle of what's really challenging. It's challenging to learn to read. I think sometimes we forget just how, how challenging that can be, but it's so rewarding, the sort of doors it opens. Anything else we want to add to this one? What do you think? A tomato. A tomato. <laughs> How did I first? Yes, a tomato. Today was an awesome, amazing day that could not have happened without the Tulsa City County Library and the amazing Book to Treasure program. Every year we wait to find out who the author illustrator is going to be, and this year it was a jackpot. You're looking excited, but also a little nervous here. That's only a sometimes feeling. I don't feel that all the time. Mm -hmm. It's only sometimes. What, what makes you feel that way sometimes? When I see it's the largest parrot in the world. <laughs> that makes me feel Ben Clinton was amazing, and I can't thank him enough. He was gracious, he was friendly, he was fun for the kids, and creative, so creative. And I just can't imagine topping that. <laughs> I just would like to thank the Tulsa Library and at the schools of visiting for having me out and encourage everyone to check my, my own books out but also you know take a look see what else is around. There's new books coming out all the time and by so many great and awesome people. And there we have it, our newest creation. Thank you all so much for having me at the school.